We are Virginia Heart right now with Dr. Pinnell Size and Dr. Berger, and we're learning about the importance of women's hearts, and especially in the month of February, but year round. Let's talk about that right now and why it's so important to talk about heart disease in women. It's so important to talk about heart disease in women because it's the number one killer of women. They call it the silent killer. It's often ignored, and in fact, the majority of women don't even realize that it's the number one killer. Is there a reason it's ignored in women more than it is in men? Well, I think women are often so busy taking care of other people, their parents, their children, their partners, their friends, that they often ignore their own health and, their, and, their, and themselves. What are some of the symptoms that women should watch out for that may be different than what men have? That's a great question. Um, oftentimes we think of heart disease and heart symptoms as just being severe chest pain. And although many women do present that way, a lot of women present in more subtle ways. They might present with back pain, nausea, shortness of breath, or just not feeling right. And sometimes it's really confusing to try and figure out what these symptoms are. Dr. Penel Sais, let's talk about women that are pregnant. Yes, so pregnancy is like a stress test for a woman. Um, and we see that in pregnancy, Women can develop very serious heart-related complications, and even with milder complications like pregnancy-induced high blood pressure, gestational diabetes, and especially preeclampsia, particularly when it's severe, they have a lifetime increased risk of heart disease that can be up to tenfold. Um, so we at Virginia Heart are interested in taking care of those patients with the more advanced heart complications, but also being able to capture those women who have seen, have been highlighted as higher risk and helping them chart their journey and control their risk factors, get on the right medications and hopefully prevent heart disease down the road. If there's someone watching right now that has a loved one that is pregnant, what do you want them to walk away with today? Take care of yourself when you're pregnant, keep your perinatal visits, they're monitoring your blood pressure. And if you have significant shortness of breath, lots of swelling or chest pain, talk to your doctor about those symptoms. And it goes without saying, if they are severe and sudden, go to an emergency room. Dr. Berger, let's talk about reducing our heart risks and uh, reducing some things and prevention for heart disease. Absolutely, prevention is so important. There are so many things that you can do to help prevent heart disease long-term. The first starts with taking care of yourself eating well, staying active, and seeing your doctor regularly, knowing your numbers, knowing what your blood pressure is, knowing what your blood sugar is, knowing what your cholesterol is, knowing what your family history is. And that'll all help shape how you move forward on this journey. Mm -hmm. Virginia Heart has locations all over the DMV. What is the best way to find you guys? VirginiaHeart.com, you'll find everything there. Excellent, thank you for sharing this important information with our viewers. Thank you. Thank you.